I'm so pleased that this water fountain at uh, Isham Street and Park Terrace West is back in. I thought it was the same fountain as up at the top of the hill, but no. And it's got this clever system, which before a dog drinks, you dump out the old water. Just try and avoid getting your feet wet. And then the dog is like, hey, where'd my water go? And then you just hit that and scare dog. Let him witness water being filled. Hey, I'll even give it a rinse. Quick rinse, because nothing's too good for my Cecil. And then we'll do it again. Ready, dog? Come on. You can have your water. Come on, Cecil's first water from this water thing. You can do it. Will Cecil drink from water? He wanted to drink from the old dirty water. He doesn't trust the fresh stuff. Come on, dog. Well, I guess you can lead a Bouvier to water. I'll try it for myself. Hey, now isn't that funny? The dog fountain is working, but the one for humans, not yet running. And the one up there, the human part is running, and the dog fountain, while attached, or while hooked up water-wise, does not have a base like this does with this nifty little uh, bowl apparatus, which is more clever than I thought, given how it's made to dump out water as well with that heavy uh, iron uh, shape bowl. Highly custom, clearly. And I would imagine, subject to rusting, cast from iron as it surely is. So it'll be fun to see if they find that one for the upstairs fountain. I wouldn't be surprised if it's lost forever and it would be too expensive to recast. And so I wrap up this video by saying goodbye. Say goodbye, Cecil. Goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe.